Octonauts, Twig has invited us all here today to show us her latest top secret invention. Ready, Twig? Ready, Cap. Avast! What are you putting on my ship? Don't get your tail twisted, Quasi. This here is going to keep the gobs from getting banged up all the time. Uh -huh. They'll never crash again. Never? <laughs> but uh, even the best pilots can make mistakes sometimes. That's right. But when I use my remote control to turn on these boxes, the gups can drive themselves. I call it the Smart Duck Remote Control. Yes. It's an amazing invention, Tweak. I never thought a gup could drive like that without a good pilot behind the wheel. Ah, uh, no remote control can pilot the gut B as well as I can. With the smart gut remote control, anybody can be a great pilot. Here, Shellington, <gasps> give it a whirl. Um, but, uh, well, no, I, I've never been the best driver. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Oh no! Look! They're going to hit the octopod! Oh! Oh! Shiver! Whiskers! Don't worry! <laughs> With the smart gut remote control, the gups are totally crash proof! They stop by themselves before they crash into anything! Oh. <laughs> oh! Hey! <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Tweak, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Without the remote, I can't control the gups. Five runaway gups. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the octopod. Octonauts, we need to catch these runaway gups. The gups went that way, towards that underwater canyon. Tweak, how soon can you have the remote fixed? Faster and you can say, uh, six to eight weeks. I have to order some new parts, so it's going to be a while. Hmm. Then we'll just have to swim out there and round up the gups ourselves. Swim? Even I can't swim that fast. Tweak. Are there any other vehicles that we could use? Well, there is one. The Gup F. The, the Gup, Gup F? F. So slow. Oh, the Gup F isn't so bad, Quasi. Keep pedaling. I think we're really starting to pick up some speed. Speed? Just wait till I'm back in the gut B. I'll show you speed. There they are. Pedal. <laughs> we'll never catch up to them in this thing, Captain. Quasi, let's not get distracted. Huh? We're coming up fast behind you. You'd better move along. Who do these speedy show-offs think they are? We're sailfish. Pacific sailfish, the fastest fish in the ocean. 
They have to be fast. To herd sardines like that. Watch. Look how they work together to get them all in a tight group. Are my eyes playing tricks on me? Or are they changing colours? They seem to change colours when they get really excited. Check out the old shipwreck. I wonder how fast that baby can go. Yeah, probably about as fast as a sleeping sea snail. Oi, who are you calling a sleeping sea snail? Get back here! Hold on, Quasi. They might be able to help us. Help us? The only other thing I've seen move as fast as they do is the Got B. <laughs> Hello, a sailfish. We were wondering if you could help us find our missing ships. Sorry, fellas, but we're in a hurry. We're following the sardines up the coast. Ah, oh, forget about these slow coaches, Captain. Uh, slow coaches? I just don't think they're fast enough to help us. I suppose you're right, Quasi. They probably couldn't keep up with the guts anyway. Good one, Captain. Now they want to prove how fast they are. Couldn't keep up? You've got to be kidding. We're the fastest things in the whole ocean. We'll find those ships. Grab under those sails, guys. Let's go. Fast enough for you back there. <laughs> Hi, matey. Ha, I like this guy. There they are, straight ahead. Follow those gubs. Better split up and herd them into a tighter group. Excellent job. Now aim for the smart gut boxes. Things are quicker than they look. Yeah! She's getting away! If we don't stop it now, we might never see it again. Not on my watch! Yeah! <laughs> A little further, Quasi. We'll stop him up ahead. Stop him? How are you gonna? Captain, look out! Now! Nice driving back there. Thanks. How come the cop didn't crash right into you? Ah, Tweak made them totally crash-proof. It worked like a charm. This little thing's pretty fast. And these guys are pretty good pilots. Maybe we can have a real race someday. Ha <laughs> ha! Any time, mateys. Thanks for your help, Sailfish. So long, guys! I've missed you, old friend. Oh, no. Hmm. The smart gup boxes must have drained the gup's batteries. We'll need to replace them when we get home. So how are we supposed to get home? Hmm. <laughs> Keep pedalling, Quasi. We'll be home in no time. We should have got those sailfish to give us a lift home. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, Quasi. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. Me. Hmm. Huh? Dudes, I'm down here. Huh? Oh, hello. What seems to be the trouble? Okay, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin, and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask them to quiet them down. I'm, I'm on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, All because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. <laughs> Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. <sighs> aye, aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rocks, eh? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food while well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! This snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Hmm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> Uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? Uh, oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi- what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab <sighs> needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost. We're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Uh -huh. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Did? Did? Didn't. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now You're do you see problem. what I mean? You're the problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah! Run away. 
Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points. I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh? Sorry. sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain. Too loud. Too Maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha! I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Ah, uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a uh, fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're OK? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh, well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I looked scary. Nobody messed with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. There, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay. Uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks? Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Uh, I don't have a plan. But I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr! Grr? Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. You're back. You're back. On my back. Uh, I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for your help, Octonauts. See ya! Ah! 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 Run away! Hi. Those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yow! Race you back to the octopod? Hey, you're on. or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Ooh. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean. 
But there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashy. Didn't see you there behind me. <laughs> <gasps> a boss, mateys! Over here! What is it, Quasi? Look! <gasps> Professor Inkling, do you see how slowly those lobsters and crabs are moving? I do, Shellington. Very strange. Do you think it has anything to do with all this algae? Hmm, <laughs> not sure. Though this does seem familiar. <laughs> These creatures are poorly. We have to help them, Captain. Agreed. But first, we have to work out what's wrong. <laughs> Oh, poor little fellow. What do you make of this, Quasi? Never seen anything quite like it. Psst, come on, this way. All this algae seems to be making them ill. Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Cap, look at this! There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the gups! Octonauts, we've got to get back on board the octopod. Wazi, activate windscreen wipers. Aye, Captain. Gup A to Octopod. Gup A to Octopod. Come in, Octopod. Professor Inkling, this is Captain Barnacles. Can you hear me? Please come in. Gup A to Octopod. Is anyone there? Come in. Hmm, now, where are my books about algae? I know they're here somewhere. No one's answering. That's odd. I was just talking to the professor a few minutes ago. Ooh. I hope he's okay. Maybe he's taking a nap. Ah, if it's not the professor, then who's steering the octopod? <laughs> Ah, here we are. Algae. Uh -huh. Lots of algae. Uh -huh. Lots and lots of algae. Captain Barnacles, if I can just get close enough, I think I can grab the octopod. Go for it, Tweak. Well done! Whoa! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Peso, you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this! <laughs> Close one. Thanks, Captain. Come on.
Come on! We've got to get to the Octo Hatch! Professor Inkling could be in trouble! Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Everything else about algae. Ah. Ah. She won't open! Let me try! Sometimes it takes some polar bear strength! Combined with some cat-like quickness! Ha! To get, get the, the job, job done! done. Hey! Follow me! Quasi, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Shiver, whiskers, the octopod was taken by these crusty little fellas? Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. We give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod. Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish! So all that algae was making you ill. <laughs> but where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm, I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes, that's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Yeah, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. I've got it! It's right in this book! The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water! Ready. Right away! I'm on it! got it, Cap! Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> 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 What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Oh, is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. 
Aye, aye, Captain. Just practising my tumbles. Dashie, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. Looks like they need our help. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish vac. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> We're under attack. Quick, everyone back to the car. Oh! Yeah. out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So. Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. Keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not 
scared of you, whatever you are. Ah, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain. Oh, oh! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase. They'll never find us. Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, up here! That's it! Ho -ho! Here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, Whiskers! Peso's bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now, hand it over. Um, excuse me? And what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right, then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. <laughs> Our baby! Who's got your bill? <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family, and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag! Thank you so much! Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mate. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, wet-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the sucker on your fin is healing nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hit rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. <laughs> 
I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Cap, what about... Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh, oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> Whoa, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seal's whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow. Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yes, there's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning rass and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning, you must wait until I'm finished as shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish, and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, hey! Come back, shark! I need to clean your teeth! We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now. Don't chomp, my friend. I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth. You must relax. <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles. But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. 
I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get the picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. Better follow them before the trail goes cold. Peso, go with Harry. We'll catch up in the guppy. Remember, we're on the lookout for a big, pointy-nosed fish. With Nora attached. Yeah, they definitely came this way. We're close, Peso. Very close. Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine. Just running out of air. Harbour seals have to go up to breathe every 30 minutes. Hold on, I'll just grab a quick breath. Oh, oh. oh no, snapping shrimp. Yeah. What was that? Let's make sure Peso and Harry are all right. Snapping shrimp. They make those loud snaps to defend themselves. Shiver me whiskers. They've knocked out Harry and Peso. Attention, snapping shrimp. We are the Octonauts, and we're not out to harm you. Would you please stop snapping so we can help our friends? Oh, sorry. We always snap first, ask questions later, you know. All right, everybody, stop snapping. Are you all right, Peso? Oh, I'm fine, but where's Harry? He was knocked out by those snapping shrimp, just like you. Oh, no. He's okay, but he needs air right away. Captain, we need to get him up to the surface to breathe. Understood. Peso, you pull. Quasi, we'll push. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel ready to solve this case. <laughs> Come on, chaps. Okay, Peso, we've got to follow these ripples. Aha! There's our big fish with a pointy nose. That's a sailfish, but where's... Nora! Peso! Let's go! It's fast, but we're catching up, mateys. Oh, I can't get unstuck! Don't worry, we're coming for you. Catch me if you can. Whoa! He's making a getaway! Flappity flippers, he can leap into the air. He's not the only one who can leap into the air. Peso, on my back. I'll leap, you grab. <laughs> Ready? Ready. There they are. <laughs> Can't get unstuck. No. We're coming, Nora. We're gaining on them. Oh, can't reach. To do this on the fly. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha! We've got our fish. Whoa. And our penguin, too. <laughs> Just a few more days in the sick bay, and you'll be good as new, Nora. But we do need to bandage that hurt sucker. <laughs> Well, it looks like this case is all wrapped up. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Bye. 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 happened to you? The reef. I got knocked off of the reef. Don't worry. My name's Peso, and I help any creature who's hurt or sick. May I examine you? Oh, so polite. I like this one. Examine away. <laughs> What's going on here? <gasps> that 
does sound strange. We'll need to take an x-ray to see what's going on in there. Flappity flippers. There's a tiny shrimp inside you. And there's a sea star and a snail. There are all kinds of tiny creatures inside you. Of course there are. I'm a sea sponge. Oh, but I feel like there's something inside me that doesn't belong. Shellington, we need you in the sick bay right away. Oh, this is wonderful. I've never seen a finer example of commensalism. co -watalism? Commensalism. It means that all the little creatures inside the sponge get a safe place to live, even though the sponge doesn't get anything from them. It's not for nothing they call us sponges the hotels of the sea. And it doesn't bother you. No, not at all. I've never had any problems. Oh, until today. Yes, and if the sponge isn't happy, we aren't happy. Oh. oh. Where are we anyway? Yeah, nobody bothered to ask us before they yanked us off our reef and stuck us in this pan. And what's with all the poking and prodding and light shining in me eyes? Well, well, well. Say. this used to be a nice place to live. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Uh oh, they're running out of room. We need to find places to put all these creatures fast. A room with a view. <sighs> That's the last one, Peso. Do you feel any better now that everybody's out? No. There's still something in there. What could it be? I don't know. But there's only one way to find out. We've got to take a closer look inside. Tunip, sponge your scope, please. <laughs> All right. This shouldn't hurt, but you may feel a little... <laughs> ...tickle. Having a look in... no? See anything yet, Peso? Aha! <laughs> Shellington, what is that creature? It looks like a louse. A whale louse. <coughs> what are you looking at? No wonder I'm feeling so lousy. That thing doesn't belong inside of me. <laughs> You're telling me? He doesn't look like he's feeling very well either. Of course he isn't. Whale lice can only survive on whales, not inside sponges. Excuse me, Mr. Louse, but we need to get you out of this sponge right away. <laughs> oh, no! No way! I'm a whale louse! I ain't leaving until somebody finds me a whale to live on! Captain, the sponge won't feel better until the louse is out of her, and the louse won't feel better until he's back on a whale. Then there's only one thing to do. Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts, to the HQ! <laughs> Astronauts, we have to find a whale for a sick whale louse. And we need to find it fast. Both the sponge and the louse are feeling worse and worse. Ah, <laughs> oh, there be plenty of whales swimming in these waters. We'll find the nearest one and give the little castaway a home to call his own. Oh, it's not that simple, Quasi. Different kinds of whale lice live on different kinds of whale. We have to work out which whale species this louse came from. I'm running a scan now. Oh, there. Looks like this louse came from a sperm whale. There's no time to lose. Octonauts, let's do this. Don't worry. We'll have this louse out of you in no time, just as soon as we find him a sperm whale. There's something big coming up. A vast! It's a whale! Oh, but it's a blue whale, not a sperm whale. Hmm, keep looking, everyone. There! Nope, that 
That's a humpback wheel. I'll do that. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little faint. Oh, you're feeling faint? How do you think I feel? <laughs> Hurry, Captain. They're getting worse. We're coming up on another well now. Uh, I can't tell what kind it is, Captain. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, a sperm wheel! Excellent. Peso, you'd better suit up and... Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, you stay away from my baby. Oh, the wheel's mother. Sperm wheels will do anything to protect their young. Hang on, everyone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The mother whale's not giving up. Peso, quasi. I'll keep her distracted. You get the louse on her. But how are we going to do that? <laughs> All right. Get ready, matey. Penguin away! Yeah. <laughs> OK, Mr. Louse, this is it. Oh, oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, for goodness sake. But this is where you belong, on a sperm whale. I'm just too weak. Hurry, Peso. I don't know how long I can keep her distracted. I've run into some complications, Captain. I'm going to have to perform an emergency lousectomy. Lousectomy? Lousectomy? But I'll need my medical bag. Ah! Just tell me what you need, Katie. Tweezers, Quasi. I need tweezers. <sighs> now I can't see inside you, so let me know when I'm getting close. A little, a little to the left. Steady. Oh, too far left. Now to the right. Steady. You've almost got him. Steady. And... Gotcha! Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! I'm warm! How do you feel? Oh, now that I'm back on a wheel, I feel great! Thanks, Doc! And what about you? I feel great! Captain, the louse is on the whale. I repeat, the louse is on the whale. Both he and Sponge are doing fine. Great work, Peso. This is fascinating. Another example of commensalism. The louse gets a home and the whale doesn't mind at all. But she does mind us being this close to her baby. We need to get out of here. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready, matey! Clear! Yeah. Gotcha! The whale must have brushed against the reef here. Aye, the louse must have fallen off when the whale knocked the sponge loose. Well, now they're both back where they belong, healthy and happy and... Excuse me! Got room for a few more in there? Of course. As long as you're not a whale louse, I don't mind at all. Come on, fellas. In we go. It's <laughs> <laughs> a wiggly one. <laughs> What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any. Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A massive what? Plankton. That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? 
further plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... I've got it started, but how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! <laughs> Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, sky! Left, right, sky! Oh, we right, see sky. monkeys, Uncle! Left, it's right, a sky. bug walking Left, on water! Right, sky. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true! I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey! I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, oh, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. Come, <laughs> come. Cool, cool. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Skate. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find it before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh, no. Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no. We gotta... Unjam the octa hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... 
don't, don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes, uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! That's as far as I can get it. I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Ski, but I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. Okay, Sally. Time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon. I've got it. <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids! I've got you! Here you go! Strider! He's gone! Stay with your babies! I'll get him! We should see Quasi any minute, Cap! Ah, there's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! <laughs> need a lift? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> what, what makes you think I need a... <laughs> Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! Tweak, open the windscreen! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I'll quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Carrot? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. Ha, 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 